In this video, I want to talk about intents and how you can call another application on your device. Let's start by creating a new Android Studio project. Let's call this More Intents and choose Next, Next, and select Empty Activity and then Finish. We've already worked with Intents when we wanted to launch a, another activity within our own application, and that is called an explicit intent, meaning we know exactly what activity we want to launch. When you want to launch another application on the device, you don't necessarily know what other app is going to handle the request. That is called an implicit intent. And the way we do this is by creating an intent action. First, let's set up our application. Go to activity underscore main dot XML. Uh, we're going to select this text view and go ahead and delete that. Then make sure I'm just going to keep the auto connect is turned off. Now let's drag three buttons onto our layout. And because we're using a constraint layout, we need to connect up these constraints. Otherwise, everything will show up in the upper left-hand corner. And that's not what we want. So let's start with the top button and click and drag and make a connection to the top. And then uh, I'm going to change this. You can change it individually here, like I'm just selecting the top margin 16. Or if you come up here, this is the default margins. If I select that, I can go ahead and select so that it's 16. So every time I make a constraint, it'll default to the 16. All right, so select the next button and click and drag there. Come on. Come on. That's what we want. All right, select the next button, click and drag until it connects there. Very good. Now I'm clicked away. I want to click and drag and select all of these buttons at once. And now right click and under center say center horizontally. Okay, so now my buttons will be centered horizontally and equally distance. Okay, I'm going to click away, select this first button, and let's change the text. We're going to call this call home. And the next button we're going to call launch website and the next button we're going to say share text okay let's go back to our main activity class and let's add a few methods to call we're going to say public void and this we're going to call this first one call home and it's going to take a view Press tab to get the autocomplete so that the imports work. And we're going to call this view. And then let's duplicate this. And control C. Paste it. And one more time. Now let's change the name. If I double click, it'll select the function name. I can change it. The next one was launch website. And the last one was share text. Okay, let's go back to the activity main XML and hook these up. Select the first button, and this one's going to be call home. The next button, of course, launch website. Finally, this one will be share text. Okay, everything's hooked up. We're ready to go. When you call an intent action, it's very similar to uh, as if you were using a previous intent to launch another activity. But in this case, um, you're going to use a different type of intent. Um, first, though, we when we make a phone call, we need to pass in what is called a URI, and that's capital U and then lowercase ri. And if I tab, that'll import it. What this is is a representation of the text for the phone number. And so I'm going to call this number 
And then I'm going to use a helper method on the URI class, URI.parse. And this is going to take a string. And here I'm passing in a string to define the phone number. And if you've ever done web development and you've used the prefixes, it's TEL colon and then the phone number. So my phone number, of course, is 555-555-1234. Call me anytime, day or night. OK. But don't call me. All right. So we have our number. Now we create an intent. And I'm going to call this a, whoops, that didn't recognize. So I'm going to press the uh, Alt return. And then I want to import the intent class. And we're going to call this call intent equals new intent. And in this case, we are going to set it up as an intent dot action. And notice you have all these variety of actions that are available. And the one we want is action dial. And then we pass in the number. And finally, we say start activity and pass in call intent. OK, let's run this and see how it goes. I'm going to select my phone emulator and choose OK and proceed without instant run. If you've got a real device, of course, you can use a real phone number and then it would work. All right, let's go ahead and call home. And there you go, it launched the phone activity and uh, is ready to dial. Awesome. OK, let's go back and let's stop that. OK. One that you'll more you'll use more often is to launch a website in a browser on the device. This also takes a URI, and we're going to call this the web page, and we're going to pass in a string. We're going to say URI dot parse, and in this case, we're going to say HTTP oops, colon slash slash tutorials by ibrent dot com, which is my website. Then we're going to create an intent. And we're going to say uh, we're going to make this web intent equals new intent, and this is also an intent action, but it's called action underscore view. And then we pass in the web page, and finally we start the activity. Oops, start activity the Y. And we say web intent. All right, let's run that. I'm going to go with my phone again. Okay, let's launch website. Now, notice what this does is it brings up available uh, apps on your device. Now, of course, I have an, an emulator, but if you have a real phone, you might have multiple browsers installed, like Firefox, for example. In this case, I'm just going to select Open with Chrome, and I'm going to choose just once. And there we go. There's my beautiful little website. Check it out. OK, let's go back. Now, before we do the share text, intent. I wanted to talk about something that we want to determine when you call uh, an action an implicit intent where you don't know if there's a, an activity to handle it or a, an application to take it. You can first check before you um, call start activity. So in the case of calling, you may be on a device that doesn't have a phone. And so if you want to check, then you can say, you say if, and then we check call intent dot resolve activity. And what this takes is a package manager. So we're going to say get package manager. And if this is not equal to null, then you can start the activity. Cut and paste this here. All right. So what that means, whoops, 
getting crazy. What that means is it's going to check against this intent action dial and make sure that there is an activity on the device that can launch this before it calls start activity. That way, if this is not if this is null and there's no application that can run this, then you need to handle it differently. You need to alert the user or provide an, an alternative. The other thing I wanted to talk about is how to use what we call a chooser, which means there are multiple applications that can run the device and, and you know there's going to be multiple options, but you want the user to choose which one to use instead uh, of just automatically just leaving it to chance. You're going to instruct them to choose uh, an application to launch. So for the share text, let's go ahead and first let's create a message. So I'm going to say string message equals, and I want to say, hey, check out these cool videos. Then we're going to create an intent, and I'm going to call this a send intent. And this is a new intent. And it's going to be an intent dot action underscore send. Now, as part of this intent, I want to add the text. And so we're going to use a put extra. We've done this before where we say send intent. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Send intent dot put extra. And we're going to call this an intent dot extra text. And then I pass in the string, which in this case is a message. From here, I also, in order for this to choose an application to, to, to send to, we're, we're going to define what type of content we're sending. And in this case, it's text. So we need to say send intent dot set type and the type is a string and we're going to say text forward slash plain. Okay, now that we have this set up, the next thing we want to do is create a chooser intent and I'm going to say intent and call it a type chooser and then this is intent dot create chooser and we're going to pass in the intent that we're choosing with which is the send intent and then we need a message to the user so this message is going to be share with friends okay now i want to use the same check that i did up here before I send them to uh, send text, I'm going to check first that they can do that. So I'm going to say if send intent dot resolve activity, and then I pass in get package manager. If that is not equal to null, then I'm going to start activity. But in this case, when I start activity, I want to pass in chooser. Okay, this is important because you're sending this chooser intent, which has a reference to the send intent plus the text. All right, let's see this in action. Let's go ahead and run and run it on the device. All right, now we're going to choose share text. So notice it brings up a different dialog and it says share with friends, so there's our text, and it's going to show you all the applications on your device that can handle text-based messaging. And so this works really well if you're wanting to you know, send a, a text by messenger, by email, uh, or like if you wanna tweet it on Twitter or post to Facebook or any other application and you want the 
user to choose which one to use. All right, so that is the basics of creating intents that allow you to launch another application on the device. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.